it's Laika and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we are gonna be doing a DIY video. Today, I'm going to be doing a clothes transformation video that involves snow sewing machines. Also, just a little side note here, I have no experience at all when it comes to sewing except nung elementary ako and grade 7 nung tinuruan kami ng pagtatahe sa school and embroideries and stuffs and I got pretty good grades done. <laughs> I can sew, pero wala akong masyadong experience sa pagtatahe ng damit talaga as in transforming clothes. So I don't know how this is gonna go. But yeah, I'm also not that good at DIYs but I'm still gonna take this shot because I'm feeling creative today. <laughs> yeah, before we get started, make sure to subscribe on my channel and also follow me on my Instagram account at ChristineCorn. Now if you wanna go upcycle clothes with me, then keep on watching. <laughs> For the first DIY, we are going to be transforming a men's shirt into something really feminine and ladylike and elegant. <laughs> so this is what this shirt looks like. Yan. And yeah, hindi ko alam kasi kung paano ko i-describe yung gusto kong maging kinalalabasan nito pagkatapos. So it's kind of oversized, pero I don't know if enough yung pagka-oversized niya if I turned it into a two-piece set. Okay, let's get started with the DIY. So first step, I'm gonna make a mark on where I want this shirt to end and I'm just gonna start cutting it. After cutting, I'm gonna hem the bottom part of the shirt. And here I'm backstitching it just to make sure that it's all secured and it won't come off easily. And that's it for the shirt. We're basically done with it. So now take the bottom part, the part that you cut off, and we're gonna make it into a skirt. So first I'm gonna cut off the bottom part because it was curved and I want to have a straight end and then taking a skirt that fits you, I'm gonna put it on top of our fabric and then I'm gonna draw a mark to where I wanna cut it just to get the shape. Also don't forget to add allowance because after all it's better for the skirt to be too big rather than too small because at least you can alter it easily if it's too big, right? After cutting, you should have two fabric pieces. So we're gonna start with the back part first. First step, I'm just gonna be taking these buttons off. Next, just to kind of close these parts off and also to have some type of closure, I'm gonna add a zipper on our skirt and I'm just pinning it in place and then we're just gonna sew it. And then once we're done with that, we're also gonna be closing the bottom part of the zipper because it's still open. So after you're done with that, take the other fabric piece and this is gonna be the front part of the skirt. So what we're just gonna be doing here is we're gonna align the ends together and we're just gonna be sewing the sides so we can have like the skirt together. <laughs> Now I am done sewing both the sides of the skirt. Also, I sewed them from the inside so we can have a clean look on the outside. And now I'm just gonna be um, hemming the bottom. Also, I sewed like a triangular shape on the upper part, which is gonna be our waist part because it was too big for me. Now I'm taking an elastic band and I'm just gonna be adding this to the top part of our skirt and this will just serve as an elastic band and also I think this also added an extra touch to the skirt because it looked pretty plain so I think the black garter was an extra point. <laughs> 
And because the garter that I added earlier was a bit too short, I took another strip and I'm just gonna be sewing them on. And because I was planning on cutting it in the middle part where the zipper is, I'm planning on adding a button so it can serve as a closure. So yeah, I'm just sewing it. And now I'm gonna cut the middle part and I'm gonna align both ends together so I know where I could cut like the little opening for where our button will enter so it can close. And once I got the perfect size for the hole, I'm gonna be sewing around it so it doesn't fray. And yeah, now we're done! So this is how our set looks like overall. Here's a little before and after. I really liked it but the skirt was a bit too short so I need to wear something underneath but it was good. Now this is the third DIY and for this we're gonna be needing just whatever polo shirt you own. But basically what we're gonna do with this polo, I don't know what you call it but we're gonna cut off the sleeves and make it cropped so it kind of looks like a vest but not really I don't really know what you call that specific loading piece but we're gonna turn it into something like that so now let's go so this is the polo that I'm gonna be using for this DIY it has this apple green type of color with light pink stripes so first step I'm gonna measure to where I want to crop it and then I'm just gonna start cutting it. It doesn't really have to be a straight line because we're gonna hem it on anyway so yeah. So once you're done cutting to where you want your shirt to end, we're also gonna cut off the sleeves. So I turned this shirt inside out and I'm gonna pin the bottom part off so we can hem it on later because we want to have a clean edge here. <laughs> And then after that, we are just gonna be starting to hand sew it, like so. And then after that, we're also gonna do a back stitch here just to have a more secure edge. That's basically it for this shirt. It's really simple and easy. This is how the shirt looked overall. I really like how it turned out. However, the sleeve was pretty rough so I thought maybe I should have hemmed it. But still, I think it's pretty good. Now for the last DIY, I saw this a lot on Pinterest and I also found a tutorial of this on TikTok and also Meriden sa YouTube. So I figured that I wanted to try it out on my own to see if I can also make that or if I would fail. So. So yeah, you're just gonna be needing a pair of jeans that you own. Um, it can be washed or it can be dark denim. Uh, I'm using a dark denim but um, I think it will be better if it's washed. I don't know because yung mga nakita ko, most of them uses washed jeans. So maybe it would be better like that but yeah, I think mine was pretty good. I think. I, I don't know, it was my first time doing this, so I think it's not that bad. Um, yeah, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna tape the middle part of the jeans because I don't want bleach to go on the other leg because we're just gonna do half bleached. So I'm gonna tape that part and also the pocket here because I kinda want it to not be white, you know? I'm just gonna start bleaching it. I put my bleach on this spray bottle so it's easier to bleach it. And also I'm wearing gloves to protect my hands and also some glasses to protect my eyes as well. And mask because the bleach has a pretty strong smell. <laughs> 
after bleaching the front part, the back part was already pretty bleached. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna spray it again with bleach to balance the color out. And then once we're done bleaching the whole thing, we're just gonna leave this outside to dry for however long it took it to dry and in my case it took me about four hours but it could be for overnight six hours eight hours or also four hours it really depends and that is basically it for this half bleached jeans i really really like how this turned out overall especially with the belt that i wore here and also i think it looked pretty good when i matched it with the previous DIY that we did <laughs> so I asked my sister to paint this front pocket and also the back because I thought they looked pretty plain so I think this really added an extra accent to the jeans that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you got some ideas to do if you're also bored and feeling creative at home I guess I'm pretty happy with the results of everything that I did today because like what I said earlier I have no that's my cat what I said earlier I have no experience when it comes to DIYs and sewing and I'm not really that creative so I'm pretty happy with everything that I did today be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel so that's it always remember to be nice to others and you'll be happier promise bye lovelies thanks for watching